Hey, what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel let's mobile development and we are seeing that how you can develop flutter application inside my flutter tutorial series playlist so in today's video we will quickly learn how you can perform hero animation on image view as you can see on the screen we have a nice image view with uh, wrapping inside circle avatar and if you tap on that particular image it will uh, navigate to the next screen with the nice effect of hero animation like that so i have already created this example so let me run my previous um, application let's restart it so as you can see this video is the continuation of my previous videos which i have been implementing and i have already created all those videos you can uh, uh, get the link on the description section for my playlist or for my youtube channel and you can um, have a look on all these widgets that I have already implemented and apart from this we have this uh, um, repository flutter design learning and inside that you can find all of the code which I have created um, inside it and uh, I have also created videos on them as well so in today's video we will see how you can perform hero animation widget so I have already created this uh, list item which is called as hero widget on tap on this item you can see we have a nice circle avatar uh, I did nothing but just uh, provided a screen which is stateless widget and inside the body of that screen we have just a detector so that we can tap on this image by using this just a detector so right now our gesture detector won't be doing anything it is uh, on tap of it we are just returning the null and we will just implement that uh, how you can perform this hero animation on tap of this gesture detector so we have this hero widget and inside that as you can see we have tag my image and child property in which we are returning this circle avatar and in the next screen we will have hero widget detail screen and inside that we will uh, uh, implement the body like that let's write the code for that and we will just use some kind of center widget and for center we have a child we will provide this hero and uh, for hero widget we have two major properties one is tag and other one is child like that so for child we will just use some kind of image dot network simply and I will use the same image image dot network and we will have to provide photo URL which I have defined above here as a global variable so uh, you can find any image in uh, Google images I have just uh, you know copy that image from Google so just to show you this example so on tap of just a detector on screen one what you can do now you uh, will have to navigate on this detail screen and we have already used this hero widget so this tag should match with this one so i will copy that tag if you have some kind of uh, list view and uh, you have multiple images or maybe you have a grid view you have multiple images so on tap of each item you have uh, uh, you can say that you will have some unique photo URL for each item so that tag uh, would be dynamic in that case for in this case we are just uh, learning how you can apply this hero widget so I am using some uh, static tag here so this tag should match with this tag in the second screen as you can see this uh, diagram here uh, hero widget works uh, like you have to provide some tag and some child widget and this tag should match with the tag on the second screen of that hero widget so this is uh, the idea is very simple now what we can do uh, we just wrap this center widget inside a container and give it in a nice background color so that you would know we are navigating to the next um, screen so we will use colors dot ember like in the example we have seen just before so let's hit save now if you click on it okay so we are not doing anything on just a detector on tap now we need to do some coding here uh, so i have already copied that particular routing thing so let me cut that and we will use navigator 
dot of context and dot push method and inside that push method we will use this particular page route builder so why I've used this page route builder because I don't want that animation like that if we go to the back we have you know the sliding from uh, right to left or left to right the screen navigation is performing like that initially but for this image I don't want that screen to be sliding from left to right to uh, you know uh, I want uh, the particular uh, effect the flowing effect of that particular hero widget is very uh, smooth so that is why I am using this page route builder inside that I am using this transition builder and page builder so nothing fancy like that so let's hit save and if you click on that you can see there is a nice effect of animation and uh, this is hero widget for you so this is very simple to integrate so uh, all the boilerplate and behind the scene animation is performed by this hero widget you just have to use this widget so let me explain if if i would want to use here navigation dot of context and if i'll use normal material page route and inside the builder i need to return the uh, accept the parameter context and we will have hero widget detail screen like that let's hit save and now you will see the uh, navigation screen would appear from left to right sliding like that so you can use that as well but to avoid this sliding thing sliding navigation uh, I have used that before the page route navigator so yeah that's it so if you hit save so this will avoid the navigation and you can see the smooth flow of the hero widget like that so this is our today's video as you can see how we can implement hero animation widget in a quick time so stay tuned for the next video thanks for watching